On today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're gonna talk about your router's depth gauge. Uh, normally we would roll the intro here, but we haven't made one yet. So let's throw two minutes on the clock and bring it into the bench. All right, so this is the depth gauge on your router and it is one of the most useful parts of a router, especially because as we all know, because we've watched my five part router tips and tricks series, uh, I'll link that playlist right here in the upper corner, that taking small bites on a router is always best. You never wanna take huge passes because it creates way too much pressure on the bit and can cause an unsafe and potentially project damaging situation. So the way this thing works, it's so simple. Uh, using your plunge base, you're gonna zero the router out right here by bringing it down to your piece carefully because you don't wanna mark it. And so now we know that our router is at ground zero and we can bring our stop down all the way to our depth gauge. And let's say these setup blocks, they're very useful. Uh, they're only about, I don't know, 17 bucks or so. I'll link them down below in the pinned comment. You could bring in, let's, this is a quarter inch setup gauge and you can put that in between your guide. And because you know you're at zero, when you plunge down, your depth is exactly a quarter inch. Now let's say you wanted to take a three quarter inch pass. Here's how you do it. So on my router and just about any router I've ever used, these come in quarter inch graduations. You'd obviously want to measure yours. They also have a custom one that you can change by twisting this screw. Um, we would simply, just like we did before, zero out our router on our piece, drop our stop to the highest one. And now because we wanna do a three quarter inch groove, we can take three quarter inch passes without even having to measure. So to take my first quarter inch pass, I would twist this one time, make a pass at a quarter inch, and then I would lift my router up, twist it one more. Now we're gonna be another quarter inch pass equaling half an inch, and then again, twisting it again, going to three quarters of an inch. Very simple to do without calculating. The router depth gauge is an amazing, amazing tool to get used to using. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully I kept this under two minutes. I doubt I did. Stay safe in the shop. Have a wonderful day.